but we're going to jump right in right now with uh, Jody McGinnis Porter. Welcome so much. Thank you so much. Welcome back to your show. Thank you. Um, this is uh, Jody was the PIO before I came in and left some huge shoes to fill. So thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. I'm delighted to be here. So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, right around the corner, coming up. Um, it's something we think about year round, obviously, but we really in October focus in. Um, you've always been really courageous and very open about your story. Um, why don't we start there? Tell us a little bit about your experience with this and, and how you got it so involved in this issue. It, it, it uh, started July 22nd of 2014. I, I had just left my job at the city, um, hadn't started my new job, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And breast cancer affects one in eight women. And it's amazing how many people are impacted by this disease, people's moms, sisters. Um, and interestingly enough, men can get breast cancer too. But uh, that's, that's kind of where it started. And this morning we kicked off the breast cancer breaking strides uh, breakfast and our event is October 3rd at Violinda Park. Mm -hmm. This is the big breast cancer awareness and fundraiser that we do every year, the, uh, that the American Cancer Society does every year, right? That's correct. Um, making strides against breast cancer. Um, there was a huge turnout last year, right? How many people were? We had 4,000 yeah. last year at the event here in Santa Fe. We raised $82,000. Yeah. And it's really impressive where that money goes. I have some statistics. Oh, right here. Yeah. Um, it's, it's interesting. The money really does make a difference. And New Mexico is a poor state. And what we've been able to do is through uh, the American Cancer Society and the fundraising that we've done, we have impacted low income areas in our state where we provide free mammograms and 50% of the women in high risk areas where they don't have access to medical care are receiving free mammograms. And it's so important. I have two words to say, early detection. Mm -hmm. Early detection saves lives, yeah. it saved mine. Yeah. And I'm so happy to be here today and to promote breast cancer awareness, talk about mammograms and how important they are. But again, bringing it back to home, I wanted to tell you what the proceeds of the event does. And money goes to giving patients rides to and from um, through their road to recovery last year we gave 648 patients a ride to and from their treatment, 323 nights of free or reduced lodging for patients who have to travel for treatment. We had 513 visits made to breast cancer patients through our Reach to Recovery volunteer program. So it, it's a wonderful, um, it's a run, wonderful event. It builds camaraderie. Last year, the city had a great team, um, and and I'm really I, I hope the city does another team this year. Uh, there's some fabulous people here at the city. They had a Frito Pie fundraiser. Fundraiser, I remember. Yeah, and it, it, it's wonderful for businesses and organizations to build a team and promote awareness and wellness and it's wonderful just for the camaraderie that it builds. Yeah, and it's so wonderful to hear as well. It's just been, it's something you don't, you know, you learn something every time you sit down and interview somebody in this job, but um, I didn't realize that so much of the resources that are raised here locally stay here locally and help New Mexican women um, get treatment, get screenings, uh, and have support. That's really, that's wonderful to hear. $82,000, are we going to beat that this year? I hope so. Yeah. I really hope so. That's the goal. Um, you know, in 2015, it's estimated that there will be 231,840 new diagnoses in the United States for women who have breast cancer. And of that number, 40,290 women will die. Oh. And to bring it closer to home, um, in New Mexico, we'll have 1,320 women in our state who are diagnosed with breast cancer and 270 will die this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so much of it, as you said, is about not catching it in time. Um, what are some of the, do you guys, do you have any numbers or statistics on what happens in terms of uh, survivability when it's caught early on, how important it is to catch it early on? Well, there's different stages. 
And the earlier you catch it, the easier it is to fight. Uh, for example, when you're stage one or stage zero or stage two, the recovery rate is much greater and much higher. And that's why it's so important to catch it early, early detection. That's, mm -hmm. that's really what it's all about. Absolutely, absolutely. So October 3rd is the big event. Um, we've got to get we've got to be, get enough people out to beat that number. What does it take to sign up and, and be involved in the, in the event? Oh, well, there's a website you can go to. So go to makingstrideswalk.org backslash Santa Fe NM, and you can just go sign up. Um, you can join my team. There we go. I have All a right. team called Jody's Rockers for Knockers. Last year, <laughs> we raised I love it. Uh, about five thousand um, dollars. Members on my team would love to have you on our team, Matt or Joe or uh, Christina was on my team last year. Awesome. Yeah. And and we have a great turnout. Um, you recruit people, and step three is to raise money and then join us on the walk October third at Violinda Park. It starts at nine o'clock, but I'd come earlier because get there early. There's yeah. always coffee and breakfast and hanging out. It's yes, a lot of and fun. It, it's almost like a carnival activity and festival. And it, during the month of October, a lot of people wear pink, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's our signature color. And it's such a great way to get to know other people too, and, and to build that support network for not, not just for the women, but for all of the people of the community that this disease impacts the families that it impacts and, and so it's it's good to have you know screening is is really important treatment is obviously very important but that support network is another kind of a third rail of very important to have that support network it, it is and it's amazing how many people Im it impacts you know um, you have a, a city employee right now who is is dealing with breast cancer Lillian upstairs and you know my heart goes out to her mm -hmm. and Cindy Padilla is also is another survivor, is another yeah. su mm -hmm. survivor. and unfortunately, um, Carmichael, Councillor Dominguez, has lost his mother to, to breast cancer. So it really does touch a lot of lives, and the degree of separation is usually just one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially in, in, in New Mexico and in, in the culture in New Mexico, um, diseases that target women and that hit women primarily, although you're right, as you said earlier, men can get breast cancer, really impact the community in, in a very big way because women are so often the centerpieces of families in New Mexico. Um, they're really the, the keystones of the community. So it's, it's doubly important, I think, that, that we fight this disease. It is, and I think what's really more important is the women in your life and the women in other people's lives. Remind them to please do self-breast examinations and once you're over the age of 40, please have a mammogram. Every year? Um, get yourself checked. Yeah. Now, it, uh, your doctor will tell you okay. yeah. um, how often, but, okay. but start at age 40. Got it, got it. And how much, of, how much of an impact has like the Affordable Care Act in terms of making screenings and preventative health care a priority? Has that made a big impact? And you know, I'm not really, sh I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I don't know the answer That's to okay. that question. That's okay, it just occurred to me just now to think that, to think about that. I wonder if they've made it more, if it's been, if it's become more accessible to get those kind of screenings. I would like to plug the American Cancer Society and, sure, and just yeah. give you a few little statistics. They uh, started research, and I believe it was 1947 when they started researching, and the American, 1946, I was off a year. But they have raised more than four billion dollars. Mm. That's billion, four billion, B, um, with their research, and they have played a major role in cancer research. They recruit the brightest and uh, smartest researchers. And what's really interesting is that 47 of the American Cancer Society researchers have gone on to win a Nobel Peace Prize. Wow, yeah. that is. That's greater insane. than any not-for-profit organization in, in health. No other organization has come close to that record. And that's why it's so important to raise money and participate in this event. Yeah. So I invite all of you, please come to the Breaking Strides event October 3rd at Via Linda Park. Um, join a team, start a team, and I hope everybody at the city of Santa Fe, you guys are yeah, just great Yeah, we'll get supporters. it ready to go, don't I'm, worry. I'm sure you'll We'll I'm be sure right on top will. of it. So makingstrideswalk.org uh, slash Santa Fe NM for more information and to sign up for a team. Um, and then also to volunteer probably for the event. Yes, we need volunteers. they can find information okay. on that website as well. Okay. 
Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Jody. Really appreciate you coming by. Thank Good to you. see you again. Great to uh, be don't here. be a stranger, uh, and we'll uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank you so All much. Right. Good really luck with the event. It. Thank you.